YouTube, what's going on? What's going on? This is your boy DJ Troy in the building. Yo, man, this is just my reaction video to the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk about, you know, everything that happened in probably under 10 minutes. Three weeks of competition in under 10 minutes, you know. So let's get into it. Of course, the biggest name that stand out for the Olympics was Ryan Lochte, Michael Phelps, Simone Biles, and Usain Bolt. Okay? And then there was this next swimmer. For some reason, I'm not remembering her name right now. Those were the biggest names that stand out. Okay? Anybody that, you know, want to disagree with me, you know what I'm saying? Shoot me a video, shoot a comment or whatever. But those were the biggest names that just stand out. Okay? Of course, there were some negative publicities happening with different people, different people having issues. So let's get into why is it that those people were the most important or most impressive, basically. Um, of course, you had Simone Biles, who basically dominated her competition, dominated the team event, dominated the floor events, um, she had some mishaps on the beams, but still man, I think she won like four gold and one silver or bronze But regardless of what Simone Biles name was being called everywhere and she did an excellent job and I would like to say that Out of everybody that was there You know, she probably was one of the most impressive people because not only was she able to overcome adversities? Um, but the, it is just like a reminder that, yo, if you have the right people around you, you could achieve greatness. So, Simone Biles, salute to you. You did your thing, okay? Now, of course, the next guy on the list was Mr. Michael Phelps. You know what I mean? Yo, salute to that kid, man. Um, I think his Olympic medal count now is going up to, you know, 20 something plus and boy, he just kept on winning, he just kept on winning, okay, he just kept on winning. It's like I almost felt sorry, you know, when I see him came out of the pool after winning, I think his 20th goal, it's like he couldn't even get out of the pool the right way. And I'm like, yo, Michael Phelps, you absolutely do not have anything else to prove. Okay, you already done made it up that you're the greatest, you, you won, you have proven it, you're great, you know what I'm saying? But listen, when you're a great man, it's like you just have to continue being great. So Michael Phelps continue to do his thing, you know what I'm saying? And continue to just, you know, went in and just continue winning and winning and winning. So salute to Michael Phelps. Of course, you had your boy Usain Leo Bolt. My God. Happy birthday, by the way, to Usain Bolt. Today is birthday. I think August 21st. <coughs> Listen, man. <coughs> Usain Bolt did a sting, man. You know what I'm saying? Three gold medals at this game. Nine gold medals in total one of the greatest athlete on track and field man it was just what can you say about Usain Bolt you see the thing about him it's not necessarily that he wins you know what I'm saying it's just a showmanship man Usain is just able to take it to a whole nother level when you see him you're hype you're excited okay it's like how is it that you're gonna have somebody that comes on the track and field and it's like everybody wants this guy to win whether or not you're from England whether you're from Brazil you're from America it's like your country team is there but you want him to win that's the mask appeal that this guy have yo so Hussein Bolt was just doing his thing you know what I'm saying he just made everybody excited nine gold medals perfect nine for nine you know he's on par as on par with you know michael johnson and 
you know, Carl Lewis and all of these other guys, man. So shout out to Usain Bolt for just being the greatest, okay? Now we're gonna talk about Mr. Ryan Lighty. Oh, Ly Liar or Lochte, yes, okay? Salute to Ryan Lochte. Man, listen, man, I, I don't know what to say about that guy, bro. It's like he did so much at the Olympics, he won. Okay, he won. Why is it now that you're gonna concoct a story that says that, well, listen, you know, I got a gun placed to my head, yo, at the Rio Olympics, at, you know, some, some security guards, some men dressed as police officers, and they try to rob me. Why are you gonna do that, bro? Brazil already got so much negativity facing them. Okay, the fact that people were scared to go to Brazil, not only because people are getting robbed like crazy over there, but also the Zika virus, um, the, the president, you know, being impeached, and then you have a shadow president right now. Brazil got so many issues. Now you're gonna try to add to the country's issues by saying like, yo, I got robbed. And then to find out that the whole story was false. I mean, come on, come on, man, come on. And then afterwards, you're gonna come and apologize for doing whatever. That's just, that was just the dumbest, dumbest thing ever. I don't understand it. Listen, you behaved badly, you broke some furniture, you paid for it, life goes on, okay? Chances are, <coughs> Excuse me. Chances are, if Ryan Lochte didn't say anything, nobody was going to say anything about it. Okay? Because it was late at night. Okay? People just trying to, you know, make some money, trying to do what's right. And it was just going to be brushed under the bridge. But you had to go on national television. You know, fabricated a story that you a gun was placed to your head and basically messed up everything for yourself, okay? As a result of that lie, Ryan Lochte stands to lose over $30 million. I mean, come on, bro. It, it was just like uncalled for. Then you're gonna come out and say, well, everything was made up and you're sorry. The damage has already been done, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man, whatever, you know what I mean? I wish Ryan Lochte the best. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's just bad for everybody involved. It's one of those things where it's like, it was so unnecessary. You know what I mean? It just was so unnecessary. So, it is what it is. Moving on to, you know, the other, you know, honorable mentions. You know what I'm saying? Um, with Jamaican track and field, there's been a pass from you know the old guard to the new guard the new girl right now is miss elaine thompson you know so salute to her for winning so impressively the 100 meter and the 200 meter um shelly ann fraser came in you know second in the 100 meter um salute to her but you know her time has passed so salute to you know the jamaican athletic team for just winning so impressively you know what I mean? Everybody did a tremendous job, man. Everybody just came out and just did their thing. Salute to all the sprinters. Salute to the United States of America, man. Um, that four by 100 meter, impressive. Okay, impressive. Salute to all the swimmers. Listen, the Olympics was just a great testament to sports athleticism um, to all the folks that just work hard and if I didn't mention anybody and people feel left out I'm sorry it was just too many people to mention in a 10 minute video and I'm serious about keeping it under 10 minutes salute to all to NBC the newscasters all the people that reported all over the world you guys did an excellent job this is just my 10 minute take on the whole Olympics. Have a blessed Sunday.